So welcome ladies and gentlemen, just a quick video today, some Pez 2015 DLC information. So I've downloaded a new update and it was pretty big, two and a half gigs worth. And it includes four new teams, we have Basel, Besiktas, uh, Bate, Borisov and Matabor. Also got a selection of new boots as we will take a look at them in just a second. And then a variety of different faces as well as four new stadiums. So quite nice, so these are the new boots we have. Uh, a bunch of Umbro ones in there, the Geo Flare. Konami, we know, always give us some uh, new boots and whatnot before, which they do every year. Not any Nike ones here, I believe. So, And then we have two new balls as well. One is for the League Un. So a lot of the faces I'm going to be showing at the end of this video. Uh, 73 of them have been updated, as well as Mario Goetze himself. Uh, but other players like Eric Lalama, Walter Samuels in there, uh, Dida Fernando from Brazil. So quite a selection. So we're going to take a look at the four teams that have been added. So we're going to head into other European teams. Scroll down. So this is the first one. Bate Borisov. Just quickly go through these players if you guys are interested to see what they do look like. Honestly, I have no idea who half of these are. I don't watch... Uh, anything other than sort of the Premier League and La Liga, etc. But take a quick gander at them. Look at their stats as well. Now the four new stadiums have been added. It would have been nice if Konami have added an actual generic stadium that we could update. Just give us something in the you know European generic kind of area. So at least we can add something different to some of the teams in the Premier League. But they basically just added stadiums that we've already seen before in PES 2014, etc. So the next side was Maribor. Take a look at them. Now whether can I going to be adding more in the future? We'll have to see. At least they are adding stuff. You know, it's it's a good sign, somewhat. Will they be tweaking the gameplay? I mean, the gameplay's good. There still is problems for me. Uh, some people have mentioned that if, the, if you bring the goalie out, the AI score a perfect lob all the time. Yes, they do. And that's kind of annoying. So I don't even bother anymore. Just, just let the goalie sort of stay in goal. And if they score, they score. If they don't, they don't. The referees as well, a little bit too card happy for me. You make a challenge which isn't even a foul. Or it's hardly a foul. They give you a yellow. And then you go and make another foul. And they sent you off. So that's a little bit annoying as well. Take a look at Basel. I'm sure these faces are going to be a little bit better. Yeah, Walter Samuel. He's one of the new ones that have been updated. Looks pretty good. As I said before, I'm going to leave all the faces of the new players at the end of the video. For you guys to take a gander at. So at least we'll have a more authentic Champions League playthrough now. If you guys want me to do another Champions League playthrough with another team, please also do let me know. I did enjoy it. Looks pretty good there. Playing with Bayern Munich. I'm getting a little bit better at the game now. My defending starting to improve. I'm not diving in as much. I'm holding R1 now and sort of taking my time. There's some pretty good faces in, uh, in Basel. And then we'll take a final look at Besiktas. So there we have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this quick look at the latest update for PES 2015. Uh, there are also four new stadiums that were added. I will leave all the details for that in the description so you guys can check it out yourself. And uh, I'm going to be leaving all the rest of the faces for you guys to take a look at. Please let me know if you are impressed and who you think looks the best. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.